Hello everyone, here's Marcin and today is a quick tip tutorial but very important in different kind of manipulation so so you should be interested in I think it's about Dutch and Bern tool as you see here is Dutch tool and this hand is a Bern tool so maybe a few words about these uh, tools Dudging and burning can help you to improve contrast on your photo and it gives your photo high dynamics range. Uh, so, for example, using Dutch tool you paint in the brightness and using burn tool you paint in the darkness. And to use these tools, you can, for example, duplicate this background layer or, or create new layer, then go to edit, fill, and in contents, use 50% gray and OK. And change blending mode to overlay. And as you see, this layer is now invisible. And at the top, you have few range is shadows, mid tones, and highlights. I started with mid tones, of course, using Dutch tool. These tools give some drama to your image, so if you want to make dramatic retouch, these tools are best choice. And as you see, I have exposure at 40, but I change it to 30 because it's too strong. So I make some contrast here on lips and on the left side of uh, face. And now I change my range to highlights. It's pretty good to use it on eyes. So now change to burn tool and exposure I have only at 20% because it's pretty strong and and if you burn it too much it can destroy your image. So really be careful using burn tool. and paint it only in the dark parts. And again, you can change range to shadows. If you want to add some eyeshadows or something like this. And let's see. It's too darker here, but it's only a tutorial, so. But remember that you, you can be uh, more careful than me uh, with, with Burn Tool. Also, I think that. Burn tool is pretty good choice for 
for eyebrows. Okay, I think it doesn't look bad, maybe it's not perfect, but I think uh, now you you should know how to use Burn and Dutch tool. So maybe it helps a little. And thank you for watching and see you in the next Photoshop tutorial.